kung mawawala ka is a political drama and romance TV series by GMA Network, aired from 2002 to 2003. It mainly stars Sunshine Dizon and Kogi Domingo. Known at that time as the most ambitious teleserie by GMA, the show quickly became on top of the ratings against ABS-CBN's Pangako Sayo. It is also the first regular teleserie of Eddie Garcia that played Governor Leandro Montemayor. The TV series is both a love story and a political thriller. It centers on Rosa Camila Montemayor, played by Sancha Dizon, falling in love with Carlito Valiente, played by Kogi Domingo. Rosa's father, Governor Leandro Montemayor, uses his political power to take away Rosa from Carlito, who is the son of his political rival, Congressman Carlo Valiente. Meanwhile, a struggle also happens among Montemayor's women, with the series beginning with a feared murder attempt on Governor Montemayor's life, making the three women and his children suspects. On 2020, the TV series became trending especially on Twitter as fans urged GMA to re-air the series. Sunshine Dizon herself wants the series to be re-aired. Clips of the series are available online, mainly from the theme song's music video and the teasers of the show recently found last year. Moreover, the series back then was said to be re-aired internationally on GMA Pinoy TV and GMA Life TV, but none are still yet to approve the recordings from those channels, if there are. Analisa is a Filipino drama series aired on GMA Network in the 1980s. Regarded as the first primetime drama TV series of GMA, it stars Judy Vega as Analisa. Produced by Happy Vision Corporation and Television International Corporation, the plot revolves around Analisa on her struggles with problems and challenges in her young life. The show became popular and brought Judy Vega to become the most famous child star in the 1980s. The Liver Network RPN made their own TV series, Flor de Runa, starring Judy Vega's close friend Janice de Beren. However, in May 1985, Judy Vega suddenly died, making the series having an incomplete storyline and ended on the same month, aiding reruns on its place until 1986 when it was replaced by Minnesota Shello. Clips of the series were said to be uploaded in YouTube during the early 2010s by VS Productions but they were soon terminated. YJMB Center for Community Media uploaded the intro but was deleted in the recent years. They were quickly retrieved. View on the third Jojo Byron uploaded a clip of the show on 2018 and confirmed he has 4 hours worth of footage also yet to be uploaded. In 2020, Judy Vega Forever Archives or Denison C uploaded 46 minutes worth of footage from Anarisa. They were soon deleted but was retrieved by Philippine Television Archives along with the intro. Clips from the MMK episode Unan which talks about Judy Vega also has clips of the show along with Flor de Luna. Nita Negrita is a Filipino drama TV series aired on GMA Network in 2011. The show stars Barbie Forteza as she plays Nita, a Filipino and black American girl that was humiliated and teased at school due to her black complexion. Premiered on February 14, 2011 and ended on June 10, 2011, the show aired at weekdays. The show garnered controversy due to its use of blackface and as so GMA was criticized for racial discrimination. It also became the subject of memes throughout the years, though in general, the series mainly became forgotten. Several episodes were uploaded on a set of scattered channels named MPEG that were uploaded on Blogspots back then. Several of them are starting to become terminated and as so, also some four episodes of GMA shows that weren't still yet uploaded. So far, only 36 full episodes and one partially found episode out of 83 episodes are available online. Its pilot and finale, moreover, is also available. GMA Telecine are made-for-TV drama anthology films that are aired every Sunday of the week in the 1990s to the 2000s. 
The films were starred by several different personalities of the network at that time and also became nostalgic especially to viewers of GMA as several people recall iconic parts of some of the films. The first iteration ran in the 90s for the second iteration which produced more films ran in the early 2000s. Some of the films were restored in 2004 along with TGIS, replacing the original soundtrack with stock music. The films were re-aired on QTV11 under the name QTV Gems. Films were also re-aired in some Hollywood specials of GMA. The films were also being re-aired internationally on GMA Life TV as of today. In 2020, some of the films were re-aired on GMA. As of now, they were also being re-aired on GMA's digital sub-channels, iHeartMovies, and Pinoy Hits. However, a lot of them went unrecorded since 2020 and became lost again. There are also some films that didn't get re-aired on local TV and only got re-aired internationally. There are also some films that were not re-aired today. Estimated films made were probably over 70 plus as there is a lack of documentation of the films. Documentation and present recording of the films were being undertaken by Philippine Television Archives, the Telecine Project. If anyone wants to help, just email us at philippintvarchive at gmail.com. GMA is yet to approve the films online. In 1974, after the triumvirate composed of Gilberto Duarte Sr., Menardo Jimenez, and Felipe Gozon, the station changed its name to GMA Radio Television Arts. This lasted until 1992 when the name was changed to GMA Rainbow Satellite, and in 1998 when the name was changed to just GMA. Two station IDs throughout this span were known to be iconic to audiences. In 1977, it first used the Circle ABC7 logo. Two years later, in 1979, a Star Trek Star ID was made that was said to only worth less than 100 pesos to make. Mentioned in a TV Times magazine, the 30-second station ID showed GMA's provincial stations, although instead of the usual map, they created spinning logos. Specifically, the GMA, Where You Belong, and the Circle 7 logos using aluminum foil, illustration board, and nylon strings. It was put in a Star Trek space background with the ginger of the ID, Distant Planets by Pepper and Tanner, and the narrator being Bert Reboot. The ID became forgotten until a user mentioned it in a Facebook video of a GMA station ID. Jacob Scherter soon found the specific TV Times Magazine and posted it on both YouTube and FB, gaining attention. The steers of the ID were included on the magazine, making this GMA station ID the most earliest we have partial footage of. Several recreations, including the computer parts and recently by Idiot TV, was made. In 1979, it started to use TM Productions Where You Belong Jinger until the 1980s when it used the Jinger from Jam Creative Productions. In 1987, a very iconic station ID showing the scenery of the Philippines, mainly Mayon Volcano, Magellan Cross, Lizar Park, the Banawirais Terraces, and the Vinta from Mindanao, that then shows razor beams coming from GMA's provincial TV towers, subsequently merging GMA's Tower of Power transmitter resting on a Philippine map. The GMA Radio Television Arts logo was then shown. According to a Manila Standard newspaper which featured the ID, it was unveiled on November 13, 1987 at the Philippine International Convention Center during the celebration of Wilma Santos' 25th anniversary in showbiz. The station ID is shown on the 1989 PMPC Star Awards uploaded by VS Productions in the early 2010s, albeit in a black and white and low quality. Snippets of the colored versions that were from bumpers or just excerpts were uploaded by several people. Several colored recreations of the ID were also made and it became one of the most wanted of GMA's IDs, along with the 1998 ID which got found in 2021 and the iconic music video.
In 1998, GMA unveiled its new station ID, a simplified rainbow logo and an iconic station ID which took decades for the full station ID to the surface, which it did in 2021. However, a music video along with the ID was also unveiled with a hash version of the Worry Belong jingle, also said to be directed by Raul Ona. According to eyewitnesses, the music video features Steve from Startup as GMA Boy, roaming and rapping around Manila, TV sets scattered with the GMA logo, a security guard, OB van, two people thumbs up, and also featuring Bitoy's world characters on a jeep. A scene that features a stranger passing by a street full of TV, and Michael V shows up, along with the scene of a logo sticker, probably GMA's, forced over fishbowl condiments that also features a fishbowl vendor. It was seen from 1998 to 2000. Search efforts began in March 2022 when an excerpt of the music video was found by Jacob Scherter in a Brigado Scherter episode. He then spoke to Raul Ona, the director of the music video. He said that he doesn't keep the fires he made and suggested that Firmex, accompanied by Jimmy Dwavid and Optima, might have the fires. The only footage we have of today is the Brigado Scherter excerpt. The Lehas Jinger was also available partially with the four versions still being lost. The other is GMA7. Wow. 